season has just started and by March you will see your winter garden and flowering plants are gradually going away making space for your summer garden. As a fellow gardener I am sure you must be understanding how painful it is to say goodbye to such beautiful plants but I can assure you that if you do these six seven things diligently uh, your summer garden will be as beautiful and as colorful as your winter garden is. We must accept that change is the only constant and let's move ahead with our planning. Today's video is on how, what top six seven things you should do right now so that your, your summer garden can be as beautiful. So let's start the video. The first thing is composting. Very important, extremely important I would say. Your permanent plants are up from a deep sleep and they need some good nutrition because why do they need good nutrition because they are going into a growth spurt and they need some good food. Uh, you can give any kind of compost, you can give vermicompost, you can give kitchen waste compost. I use extensively kitchen waste compost because it is organic and it is very safe to use. I will do a separate video on how do we make uh, kitchen waste compost. Two things of caution that I would really want to leave you with and I would request you to please follow. Whenever you give compost, you should you, uh, add compost only after the sunset. And second thing, you should add water to your compost. This is a liquid fertilizer which I did the video last week. You can supplement giving and you can continue giving this liquid fertilizer because again it gives you very good results. So you can use this liquid uh, fertilizer. The link of this is I'll, se I'll separately give you in the description box. So first thing is composting. The second thing which you now need to do is cutting and pruning. Now why do we need to do cutting and pruning? Because as I said the plants are in growth uh, in growth spurt and if you do the cutting and pruning it will trigger growth. A uh, lot of people ask me that you know I had cut my and pruned my plant in the winter season and they died. Why? It will definitely die because they are in, already in shock. The winters in India and the north, especially in the north India are very fierce. So if you start cutting and pruning uh, your plants in the winters, you might lose them. So now you can start cutting and pruning. Uh, there are three, two, three ways in which you can do the uh, uh, cutting and pruning. One is one is your hard pruning. The other one is soft pruning and pinching. You can uh, do every week. This is a hibiscus plant which I am cutting. And hibiscus you should always cut from the tips because it's where the tips where the most of the uh, flowers come. So if you cut the tips, it will trigger new growth. New sprouts will come and it will make your plant bushier. Third thing is the most painful thing is binding up your winter garden. Uh, you know and with, with some little bit of planning you can actually preserve your winter garden for the next year. Uh, either by uh, preserving some seeds or preserving cuttings. But there are some plants which you need to dispose of. I will do a separate video on that. Reporting of plants. Again a very important thing. Uh, so this is the perfect time to do reporting. See here the plants which are root bound. So all the plants which are root bound, they need to be put into bigger pots. So for example, my Song of India was actually outgrowing the pot, so it had to be root, it had to be repotted. I am doing the repotting here. Secondly, if you want to bring some new plants, some new permanent plants, this is the right time. Bring it from the nursery and get it repotted. One piece of caution that I would want to give for repotting is that don't do the repotting immediately. Uh, bring bring the new plant, keep it with your old plants so that they can acclimatize to the new environment and then it, after 4-5 days you can safely repot. Coming to the fifth important part and that is rejuvenating the veggies bed. You can see our Malibaya cutting down all the trails of our, uh, of, uh, our last uh, ridge goat that I had grown. So this is the time. I am here, I am taking out all my uh, sweet pea plants which I have now given the sweet peas and it's time to basically take them out do the tiling add uh, tiling is very important i think uh, it gives a lot of air circulation uh, within the plant so make your veggie beds now uh, in some uh, sometimes i will uh, start sowing the okra and the bottle gourd of which i'll do a separate week last but not the least my favorite work that is propagation see these are the two dracaena sticks which i had got from a local park and i have propagated that into water you can see already some white shoots coming in and once they are all fully developed, I will go and sow them into a pot. And that, that's you get a free plant from this. Uh, see how nice white shoots have come. I'll just leave this for some time to further grow and then plant it into a bigger pot. This is the monstera leaf which I've got uh, from a neighborhood uh, uncle. And I've propagated that into water. My money plant have started showing very good roots. 
I'll again put that in, sew them into a pot. See my coal is cutting, I've got one of my, from my aunts and these are doing so nice, they've become so strong and sturdy. Yeah, once they are big enough to be transplanted, I'll transplant them to a bigger pot. This is a pothos cutting. This is one hibiscus cutting which I have grown some five years back and it has grown out so beautifully. So this is the perfect time. Go out, meet your friends, meet communities, swap your plants, give your plants which you have, ask for some plants which you don't have. And you know, my mother always used to tell me, that there are two ways of gardening one is the expensive way of gardening where you can just go buy a matured plant but the joy of growing your own cuttings propagating your own cuttings from your friends meeting out and exchanging plants seeds has got a joy of its own see this is the night jasmine plant which i have grown five years back from a cutting and it's flowering profusely uh, in the winter so if you like this video you're, re you're able to relate with it do like it share it and subscribe my channel Chris with gardening see you all soon thank you bye bye iska voice over karte hain ye hai mara monstera aur ye hai uski roots aur ye hamari powdery ho rahi hai